And it's really striking the clips you played are important because uh, you know we just had the primary this past Tuesday and Joy Hollingsworth is the lead the, the, you know two have advanced to the general election and the two who have advanced is the the two people you played and Joy Hollingsworth the black candidate she's the leading candidate and she is going to win the yeah Joy Hollingsworth is going to win uh, very likely uh, because she is uh, very much ahead and she has the support of the Seattle Times, which is extremely reactionary. She has the support of the Chamber of Commerce, which represents some of the wealthiest people and some of the most reactionary elements in our city. Uh, but what's happening here, and this is what where we want to be clear, is that she's black, she's a woman, and she is going to play identity politics for all it's worth to try and mislead voters into thinking, oh, you know, for especially black working class people into thinking that oh uh, this this woman represents us but in reality she represents interests that are deeply deeply hostile to black class and low income people and to the working class and low income community as a whole you know because this is the chamber of commerce they were against 15 dollars an hour they were viciously against the amazon tax they were uh, very much you know all these big businesses jeff bezos billionaires from Starbucks and Amazon, they were all, and corporate landlords, they were, they've always been against us. They have poured millions of dollars to try and defeat me. These are the forces behind her. And these are the same forces, as I said, they've been, that have been hostile to any progressive agenda. And these are also the people who were opposed to the rent control measure that I have been, uh, I had been fighting for. And I'm sure we'll talk about that well, as was, well. You know, it's really misleading the way she was saying, she, if you just listen to her words and didn't really understand what she was saying, it sounded like she's full of compassion towards people who are facing addiction issues. But in reality, the bill that she's supporting is something that we actually defeated just recently, just a couple of months ago, we defeated that because ordinary people organized and because my office really made it clear. And, you know, just having one uh, one elected office that is opposing these policies matters. It can it can really shift things. And so we defeated this bill, which is really to prosecute uh, people with minor drug possession. It is trying to restart a war on drugs in Seattle. And we know how the war on drugs went the last time around, right, Case? Yeah, I mean, yeah. how did that affect working class people, especially black working class and poor people? So this is deeply insidious. And uh, anybody who's watching this who's in Seattle should know that this person is far from being on the side of the black community. I just want to do a quick study, uh, case study, right in real time, as Shama was, uh, gave her, us her opinion of this person, let me show you how they introduced her. Alex Hudson are three of the candidates hoping to represent District 3 on Seattle City Council. Joy Hollingsworth has lived in the district her whole life and has worked with nonprofits focused on food insecurity and worked in the mm. cannabis and hemp industries. She says her top two priorities are affordable housing and public safety. It's our police staffing, ensuring that we have a fully staffed police department, our fire, our EMT, and also ensuring that we have the right response to the right situation with our uh, healthcare workers, our social workers, our mental health providers, our gun violence prevention. Cooley has... See, she sounds like such a nice person and that's how they paint her as such a nice person, but we just got the real rundown, the real reality. And what if Seattle had, that was probably their public, you know, local station. What if Seattle had a socialist-centric type of uh, station that workers can go to for their news? They would get the narrative that Shama uh, gave, and she probably would not be 